Good morning. Welcome back to the course. It's about 6.45 in the morning. A um, little bit later start today, just because the course is actually closed. Um, so we're doing a big aerating project, um, which is taking up a lot of time, but it also means we get a sleep in a little bit, get a little bit of a later start. So we'll be going to about one o'clock this afternoon. It is a Saturday. Um, I'm pumped to have you guys back. So let's get after it. So we're out here at hole number two. So this is the tee box. Uh, you're going down that way, Dog Lake right. This is hole number one. There's the green. You can tell there are no flags in because again, the course is closed. So this morning we got the uh, approaches mode. The greens not, they've been aerated, top dressed and just need water. Um, fun fact, the um, pumping station is throwing a little fits this morning. So. We're gonna have to address that uh, but we'll get water on here quite soon you can tell the tea boxes have been aerated they're kind of browned out in spots but they are very long they haven't been cut um, in a few days so when they are cut they're gonna look very nice but um, we're about six days into a 10-day closure right now lots of work to do on the course which is good for us but yeah you might see some things that don't look so hot but it's all by design So there's actually a big uh, pickup truck behind me that's coming around the whole course. Every morning we pick up these palm fronds. Uh, so that's just one task, if you're wondering. Um, it takes about two hours to get through the whole course. Of course, they're picking up everything, not just this, all the debris. They'll probably do a couple truck, truck loads um, just to get the place looking nice. Even though there's no members out today, um, you don't want this stuff to build up. We have to use the bathroom. Now's the time. So way out there is that truck picking up debris. Looks like he's uh, about three fourths full already and that's hole number three. So you can imagine the amount of stuff uh, he's gonna be picking up. He should be coming through this clearing in about two seconds. There he goes. But yeah, we had a, a little bit of inclement weather last night so that always exacerbates what's going on so I'm sure It'll be a full morning for him. All right, 
So number eight got its first cut of the morning. Um, it hasn't been cut in um, a little over 48 hours, just due to the work that we've been doing. And you can see there's definitely some clumping by the real mowers. That's okay. We'll get the industrial blower out here, get it blown off. Then this afternoon it will um, have its second cut of the day, fertilized and watered. And by the time the members get back, it will be running like a bullet train, I hope, unless it rains. So in case you guys are just starting on the golf course, which I know a lot of you are based on the comments. And first of all, congratulations. Second of all, good luck. Third of all, I know you're gonna crush it, so don't worry about it. So this is where the fairway mowers, the big, big mowers come and they kind of stop, as you can see. And then the um, real mowers will kind of come back in and get all of this. Um, or I'm sorry, the real mowers, the smaller mowers, like the Toro triplexes will come and they'll get all this kind of um, area that's closer to the green around the bunkers because they can maneuver much more smoothly. Um, so that's kind of why you see that. Uh, you can definitely see the dew where it stops and then that all needs to be cut. So just wanted to show that in case you were wondering, but yep, the big mowers will come pretty much to this point until they get to the stage where they have to do some tight maneuvering and then they'll back off and let the triplexes come in and finish it up. one of the fairways being aerated as we speak. Um, you can see them up there. Just throwing down tines into the uh, fairway, dragging it up pretty good. It's gonna look perfect uh, when we're done, when we get it all clean, but this is kind of the messy portion of it. But you gotta do what you gotta do just to keep the grass healthy. And then these flags simply mark uh, the irrigation system, as I'm sure you can probably figure out. So the range is actually open. Um, not a lot of members hitting golf balls this morning. It is a little early, but this part is open. So you can come and practice if you wish underneath the shade. Um, but other than that, the course is pretty much shut down. So it's very, very quiet. Just a lot of work being done. So you guys saw the verticutters on 10. That's actually the first um, fairway that they've done, which I thought they were much farther along than that. So basically the whole course, every fairway has to be done. All the greens you can see are aerated and done because we did those ourselves. So it's a third party company coming in and verticutting the fairways. Um, so yeah, that's gonna take a little bit of time. Course is set to open next Thursday. So uh, I think we have a little bit longer than I initially thought. That's the golf hole. I would try to throw a golf ball in it, but as you can see, it's not gonna work. But anyway, the greens are looking, you know, good. I'm sure you've all seen greens that have been aerated and actually tried to putt on them. That's why we closed the course. It's just not fun playing golf when the ball bounces everywhere. No one likes that. So we just shut it down instead of making the members suffer through that. And just another tip for all you guys that are just starting out on the golf course, something I've definitely been guilty of, especially in the first couple videos you saw. As you can see, there's tire tracks on the fairway. Usually superintendents really don't like you driving on the fairway. I've definitely been guilty of going on it. Um, you can see there are tracks today because this is all gonna be verticut and tore up and no one really cares. But normally if it was a normal playing day, you'd wanna look for something like this outlet or over on that side, just stay in the rough and as far off the course as you possibly can, just to uh, keep the grass healthy. Um, so yeah, so if you're starting out, just try to remember not to drive right down the fairway, but everyone does it by mistake, so don't worry about it.
So this is our little wedge short game practice area, one of two. Um, you can kind of come over here, um, you know, work on your touch. Uh, there's not a lot of golfers, period, at this course, so tee times aren't really a thing. Um, so you'll see a lot of people kind of over here practicing chipping up to that green, and then they'll just drop out to number nine and play a few holes. Um, but this is, again, all been aerated, so it's shut down. Um, but yeah, it's a nice little area to kind of work on your game. Some beautiful homes. Try not to skull one into the houses, please. But yeah, I just wanted to kind of spend the morning showing you guys the course a little bit. I know it's been a while since we've been out here. We've identified some things that we got to get done. So we're going to get back to the shop and actually do something. Someone left a bunch of sandbags back here, so we're gonna clean these out. But this is the exact same sand um, that we used at the other course. Um, just in case you're wondering if uh, all golf courses use the same stuff, uh, exact same stuff. All right, so. This tee box was uh, recently sodded, um, the back half of it. So you've seen this at the other course. Um, basically what's in there is water and we're just going over this and watering it. Um, this was done yesterday. So again, it will look good in a few weeks, probably by three weeks, it'll mesh very well with the front side, but yeah, it looks a little bit rough. And to be honest, this sod that was delivered wasn't very good. So I think the superintendent gonna go with a different vendor um, but yeah we, we're gonna get this watered with this uh, big hose and tank over here we're gonna hit a couple different holes um, but all you really do is just pop that open like that and lay some water as much as you uh, as much as you like can't do really much damage to it but yeah it definitely needs water it's good that this is in the shade um, but we'll get this knocked out and move to the next one all right, so we got our hose all put away, engine off. Um, pretty good, laid down a good 10 to 15 minutes of water. Um, we'll obviously check back in the coming days and weeks just to show you the before and after. Um, it's gonna be rolled later today to smooth it out. Um, and then it'll probably be scalped down once we get a good enough growth. And hopefully it will blend right in with the uh, aerated Celebration Bermuda there. Um, but let's move on to the next tea box. Just to get a closer look at the sprayer, just water and some nutrients in there to help the grass not dry out. Then you have our hose. You just can pull it out or reel it back up. The engine pull start, not that difficult. And then just the gator with a little bit of sod and a machete in case there's parts that these guys um, didn't get to when they were supposed to sod the whole thing. And then it is a stick shift. And I explained to you guys, if you haven't driven stick shift, don't worry. It's very easy. You can learn it. Um, so don't worry about that. Anyway, we're on to number nine. So we're just going to shoot down number eight and we will be there shortly. All right, we're here at number nine. As you can see, same situation we had going on. Um, so we're just going to crank this up. Let's see if I can do this one handed. So you just want to turn it on. Maybe, maybe right there. All right, good to go. We'll get our hose out. When you're watering guys, um, just don't like kind of do it like a sprinkler because in this heat, this Florida heat, this is gonna evaporate 
before a lot of it even gets to the root system. What you want to do with the new sod is just really get in there. Put it on there, make sure it gets down to the roots. Um, don't worry, you're not going to overdo it. Obviously, if you see puddling, um, maybe back off, but really just press it down in there. Make sure you're getting it nice and wet. And you can see some bubbling. That's just those wetting agents um, acting, helping it not to dry out um, before we do it again tomorrow. But yeah, just point your hose down and just really get in there. Okay, you can see we're done with this one. We put a ton of water down just because this one gets really baked out by the sun. It is hot out here. I'm sweating. So this one, unlike the last one, is not fast in shade. So we gave it a little extra pop. You can see our tank level here. It's uh, almost three fourths gone. So we're gonna have to go refill before uh, we hit another hole. We might have enough for another tea box, um, but better safe than sorry. Put some more nutrients in as well. Well, we've arrived at number 12. As you can see, uh, the mower is mowing around the area that we need to be. So we're gonna hold off for a second. I did get us a little treat. You saw that we were drinking lemonade from the uh, little shop earlier and I went ahead and got us some orange soda for a job well done so far. can see the approaches are now mowed. Uh, look good, look pretty fast. You can see with the, with the ball here. Yeah, they're rolling well. Um, still a lot of clippings. Still need to get the industrial blower out here. But um, yeah, they're healthy. Looking good. Very tight lies in case you guys were wondering. Uh, it's a difficult little uh, pitch shot from here. Gotta have really good touch. Clear that bunker. Seen many just stuff it into there. It's pretty funny. But anyway, yeah, looking good. About 11 a.m. Probably gonna go to one today on this Saturday. Um, but we'll get back to the shop. We finished up 12 watering, so we're all done with those. Um, see what else is on our plate. Maybe get some more uh, orange soda. Well, we got some water. It's uh, actually 11.30. So I mentioned that the uh, sprinkler system, the pump was having issues. So we actually stopped for the day. Um, so we're ending at 11.30 today until we can get those back online because it doesn't make sense to mow if we can't water. Looks like someone got a new Tahoe. It's a pretty sweet car. Anyway, guys, um, thanks for joining me. I'm pumped to be back at the course and making these videos again for you. Um, no lunch today because it's the weekend. So that's why I didn't show you that. Um, but yeah, we got off a little bit early. There are people working on the pump system now. So um, by tomorrow, we should have water again. Everything will be okay. But we're gonna take advantage of uh, an hour and a half early dismissal, go grab uh, a sandwich or something and enjoy the rest of our day. Uh, take care and I'll see you on the next one.